manifesting a waste. <laughs> Thank you, Coco. <laughs> okay. So back when I, bigger and small, my waist had always been smaller than top and bottom. Okay. Hourglassy, even when it was a really large hourglass. Um, and again, I say these things with love. If it doesn't feel good to say things like that about your body, please don't. I'm saying it from a teaching space right now for helping you understand how I made it work in my body. All of it is going to be different for you because your words are different. Your experience is different. Your food is different. Your exercise is different. Your body is different. Your metabolism. Blah, 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 blah. Different. Um, Coco, if anyone could imagine like a blonde bombshell who is so cute before she had a baby, which she's an amazing mom and she breastfed with her great, big, delicious breast <laughs> and shared. She also does yoga, practices with her sister. She's goofy. Um, all the things that if I would be a celebrity, I didn't body the fuck out of that, you know, pulls she and her husband seem to really like each other and enjoy each other and have fun. He seems to appreciate that she enjoys her body and sharing that. I, I could get down with all these things. So for me, it was easy to appreciate her waist because I appreciated so much about her. This was also a time when um, I did used to feel jealous. Like, God, why do I have to be fat? Why couldn't I just be a little skinnier, you know? And looking at my friends and then they'd feel like things that weren't good about their body and I'd be like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> you know? We've all done that. That doesn't help us though. It's a fair place to be. That's something that says in you, oh, this don't feel good. I got feelings here, you know? Somewhere I've let myself believe that's not available to me. And, and this is where things start to get fun and tricky. Notice the infinity, because huh? it's a never changing loop. Um, your worthiness and expectation is everything. If you expect to stay in this body that has kept you where you are and you have resentment and you're feeding that loop, you ain't going to be disappointed. It'll keep showing up. Probably even get worse. <laughs> um, if you're wanting to write that whole plane a different way, what do you want? I wanted a small waist. Who's got it? Coco got it. How do I make that work for me? When I look at her pictures, I smile. When I look at her waist, I smile. I smile in all the places if you catch my drift. Anything that you want, that you enjoy, that you want, and you think that you will enjoy it, the more that you daydream, imagine, pretend, fantasize about in your body, as you having it or just appreciating it. Okay, let's pause my inner my infinity here. In case you don't know, I'm a I'm a switch hitter. So which I didn't always know. I've always appreciated women bodies, but even before I realized I was bi, um it was really easy for me to appreciate women body. So for me, um I also uh, now could become turned on with a woman's body. And if I'm in a space where I'm wanting to manifest and that happens, I'm going to say, go for it <laughs> as much as that feels good. Now here's a nugget that is your exercise. Okay. No, I'm not saying you have to masturbate to people that you like to lose weight, but it works. One of the ways that I actually alchemized that change in my body on purpose, besides the bonus points of, you know, Coco, <laughs> um, I decided to pick um, an efforting alchemy to, to make the change. Because I was a human and I knew that you need a little exercise. I knew that because I just knew that from my experience. I don't believe that now. In my head then, I knew that to be true. So what that meant was, every time I went to the bathroom, I did this thing, zip up the girdle, like in yoga, to walk to the bathroom. My tape is over, I'll be back. 